Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another Rushing Packed episode of Crystal Butcher and Friends. I apologise for that weird noise I made there. That was me trying to do Rushing Packed in a Scottish accent, but I didn't think about it and it just blurred it out. Rush Packed! <laughs> yes, this is for the Scottish. Uh, this is for Burns Night, even though I know Burns Night is like three weeks off, or two weeks off. It's the 25th of January, Burns Night. And do you know about it's, it's Scottish haggis? So, I have got myself some haggis, which is down here. I've got myself a tiger bloom, I've got myself some Burford, Burford brown eggs. And I've got myself, I've treated, it's Lou's birthday at weekend, I've treated to some, to some lerp hag. So, basically... To celebrate Burns Night, two week early, because when it is Burns Night, I've no idea what I'm doing, I've had a chance. So I've got it now, I'll do it now, we're having Haggis on Toast. Yet again, another recipe that's minimum ingredients. Uh, I went in a, the, a brand new Aldi near uh, in Chatterton in Oldham, uh, and I picked that up. I picked a couple of things up to review it, actually, as well, which I might do in the next few days. But right now, we're doing the haggis on toast. Uh, I got a, tes a tiger bloomer. I had to go with Tesco's to get the haggis, the Burford Browns and the Lure Pack. And uh, incidentally, the guy that ha we high-fived on the travel, on the escalators, as I was going down and he was going up. Hey, mate, didn't get your name, but thank you for recognising me. I didn't expect it. Don't happen very often. So, yeah, we've got the uh, the UK's number one haggis, Simon Howie. For some reason, when I see that, I always think Simon Weston. I don't know why. Just forget I said that. So, <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out of the wrapper. I'm going to cut it all up and I'm going to stick it in the pan. And hopefully it's going to turn into that there. So I can spread it on some toast. And then I'm going to top it off with a Burford brown egg. Only the second time I've ever had these. They are a beautiful egg. And uh, I got it first time on the recommendation of Adam Garrett. So uh, thank you, Adam. Uh, they are three quid for six large eggs. But do you know what? Even six cheap caged eggs. It's about two quid, so you're not you're only paying an extra quid for a decent, decent egg. So uh, let's crack on, get this out of the wrapper, get it cut up, and get it in the frying pan. Right, let's get this out. Bang! The, you can cook this, you can steam it and all that. And, and I've only had this once before, and uh, I, f I fanned around with it, and it took forever to cook. So what I'm going to do is, I might not even need to cut this, you know. I might just be able to crumble it into the pan. Just get all that off, the sundries. We don't need that. Because that, that plastic there doesn't doesn't add to the taste. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, like, it's like cheese. It just makes it stringy. So, uh, right, we're going to... We've never seen haggis before. That's what it looks like in the middle. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what's in it. Uh, but... You know what I mean? It, you know what I mean? You can Google it. What what ingredients are in haggis? But it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's like black pudding. Haggis on toast is like the Scotland's version of our beans on toast. So uh, I hope I do you proud, Scotland. Right, that'll do. Let's get some oil in my copper fill and let's hopefully get that into something I can spread onto toast. Right, we've got our canola oil in there. That's nice and hot. I haven't got on screaming full power either because I don't want to burn it and I really don't. I've never done this before. I saw this. Give me the idea because I've seen, I've seen uh, Gordon Ramsay do it on uh, the uh, Gordon, uh, Fred and Gino thing. 
which is that is hilarious. And uh, they, he did haggis on toast when he was in, doing it in Scotland. So he didn't put an egg on it, but I have seen it at a recipe that they put an egg on it. So that's what I'm doing. So, so I'm going to break this up. Uh, but yes, mate. I'm hungry. Do you want haggis on toast? No, I didn't think you did. I'll do you a pizza, buddy. Would you like pizza? No, I don't want pizza today. You don't want pizza? I don't want pizza today. Oh, my God. What's this world coming to? Kieran don't want pizza. Right, I'll sort Kieran out, and uh, we'll be back when I've uh, cut this a little bit, and it'll hopefully it's turned into a bit of a mince consistency. Just to give you a quick update, this is what it's looking like. This is the consistency in my head that I was hoping for. Something you can get, it's nice and soft, and you can get on your bread, on your toast, should I say, and, and spread it. Ah, oh, ha, ha. The smell coming off this pan now is fabuloso. So, uh, you're right, I think that is roughly done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out my, uh, my egg pan, which uh, I've cleaned, actually, so it's dry. I'm going to toast off. Uh, a couple of slices of me tiger bloomer in there with some garlic fry light and uh, then we're going to go with this on the bread and then we're going to try and attempt to cook two Burford brown eggs which we all know meat and eggs don't mix right bread there is my egg pan we love garlic fry light in this house I'm going to pull that on the bottom I can't fit more slices in the pan. <laughs> I forget my pan is that small. And then we're going to put my little garlic fry light in this house on the top. Give that a couple of minutes. And then we're going to flip it round and uh, do the other side. And when that's done, we're going to get the uh, haggis on there. And then we're going to get the uh, Burford Browns in that same pan there. Honest to God, don't know how I'm going to toast these any better in here. But that's one side, and I think I dare take that any further before, without... Oh, the, the, the only problem with my, my egg pan is that it spin. It's bored at the bottom. So it it doesn't sit, and the handle's loose. <laughs> it's like my lucky pan, you know what I mean? It just, just doesn't want to sit right. That side, the other, this side now is not going to take as long. But, uh, yes... This is not the disaster. The the agus is not the disaster. The disaster is going to be me trying to cook two fried eggs and the pan about to set on fire. What's going on here? Never done, aren't they? Never nearly done. It's burning! Fireman Sam's going to come in a minute. Fucking hell, I've caught myself on the pan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, a, I'm a glutton for punishment, aren't I? Right, anyway, then we're done. We're going to get them on there, get some lure pack on them, and then we're going to spread our haggis on them. Right, as you can see there, I've tried to spread my lure pack on my toast. <laughs> but as anyone knows, especially because it is winter and it's been getting down to like minus one here in England, well, Northern England anyway, and because of the car, I have to leave the kitchen window open the butter just stays solid 24-7. And if you put it in the microwave, you put it in for 20 seconds, it does nothing. You put it in for 30 seconds, it's fucking liquid. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I basically, every time I use the butter, any butter, whether it's lower pack or any block butter, I just it just rips the bread apart. Anyway, I'm digressing here. Let's get some of this on here. Let's get this haggis on here. Haggis on toast. I've never had this. I've had haggis once in my life and I really enjoyed it. So, why not? For Burns Night. I know it's not Burns Night as I'm recording this and it's been released for a couple of weeks. But in a couple of weeks, I don't know where the hell I'm going to be or what I'm doing. And I'd, I'd, I'd be gutted if I missed the trick. I've never done anything for Burns Night before. So, uh, we all do everything for Christmas and... Easter and stuff like that. So, Burns Night. I'm not far from Scotland. When I say that, I won't like to walk it, but you know. Uh, only a couple of hours away, I think. 
to edge of Scotland from here, so uh, we might as well celebrate it. Right, the fun starts now when I try and cut these eggs. Follow me. As you can see in the pan there, I've got some oil. I've turned it down to number four on the electric hob as well. I don't want it steaming hot. And I've also put a bit of low pack in there as well. I don't know whether to put black pepper on it. Oh, fucking hell, it's trouble, isn't it? Right, perfect brown, first one. There it is. Please don't break. It's fucking popped. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to not pop an egg? How the, why, why do every time do I do an egg, it pops? Right, I'll cut that, get it on my toast, and I'll do the next one, see if I can do it without popping. Take two on the eggs. Instead of cracking it on the top, I'm gonna to crack it with a knife. See if this works. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. I think we've only gone and done it. <laughs> yes, I've got an egg that's not popped. You know what? I had six attempts at it, because I only had six eggs, but uh, I didn't really want to have like five smashed up eggs on one good one. So I've still got four eggs left. I've just got one smashed up one on one good one. So uh, next time you see this, it'll be go on the Agison toast. Get in, yes. Want it runny as well, which also is not guaranteed. There it is. My Scottish brothers and sisters, I hope I've done you proud by the way. Uh, there is that, that, there's the one with the smashed up egg. There is the one with the good egg. Let's see if we can pop it. Oh, yes. It's not as runny as I like, but it's still runny. Right, anyway. Let's delve into it and get it down my gizzard. Bon apple teeth. Tiger bloomer. I did want to get some Scottish butter, but I couldn't get hold of it down, couldn't get hold of it here, so we'll have to do with this. By the time I finish with this, I might actually get some aggies on my fucking bread. Right. Mm. You know what? Agus is an absolute wonder. If you've never had it, don't look at the ingredients, just buy it and try it. Either do it like that, or you can slice it and fry it like black pudding, you know what I mean? It's it's just a fucking delight. And you don't have to go out and buy Bertha Brown eggs, you could buy any eggs you want. But, you know what I mean, the, 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 the better quality egg always is going to be better in it mm. if that is a scottish equivalent to our beans on toast then i'm never having beans on toast again because that is magical that wind's getting up. Jesus. Right, yes, that was my uh, haggis on toast with uh, a nice fried egg. One out of two were nice. And there it is. Haggis on toast. That first egg was a bit of a disaster, but at the end of the day, it will still taste like egg, and it's still a Burford Brown, so it's just a smashed up, decent Burford Brown egg. That one was superb. Both are going to be superb. Haggis is superb. I've still got that much haggis left. I've got a lot of haggis left. So if I want to make another two or three of them, I can. And uh, I've still got that there. If I want to destroy another couple of eggs, I can do. So yeah, haggis on toast for Burns Night. And I know what you're going to say. Chris, it's not Burns Night for another two fucking weeks. I know it's not. Not till 25th of January, and this is what, the 8th of January, 9th of January? I don't know what I'm going to be doing on 25th of January. I, I have no idea, so I thought I had it. 
add the ingredients. I thought, bollocks to it. I'm going to do it tonight and celebrate it early. Listen, you go in Tesco's or supermarkets now, there's Easter eggs everywhere. So, you know what I mean? They're early. They're mega. They're two months early, not two weeks. So, uh, yeah. Haggis on toast for the Scottish for Burns Night. I loved it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. <laughs> and become a family member of hashtag TeamCTB. Well, hey, fucking love you.